is only proper that uh, you start from a Bucky's and then from there we take off. The purpose of today's ride is just really to test um, our endurance. If anything, it just gives us a good benchmark on where we stand for a ride like this. So we got plenty of coffee, um, plenty of uh, pain pills. Scott just showed up over there. We're just fueling up right now. Connect our comms. We're gonna head out about 260 something miles uh, to Kerrville. So let's go see what Scott's doing really quick. What's going on, Scotty Scott Scott? Good morning, Mr. Paul on the run. How was your ride this morning, man? Cold. It was cold. Very cold. But last night, I did send Scott a text of a picture of a dude that did an iron butt on a scooter on a 150cc genuine buddy. 23 hours and 40 minutes 40 on minutes. a scooter. I was like, all I know is we better get there faster <laughs> and we better not complain at all. I'm calling 11 hours and 30 minutes. I'm gonna say 16 hours and 20 minutes. We're gonna be back by three o'clock, right, Scott? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you gotta say it, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take one. You wanna lead it or you want me to lead it? Uh, I guess I'll go first. Yeah, you got all the cameras. All right. showed up in Fredericksburg, Texas, and um, we've done uh, 200 miles, pretty much, from Bucky's and Waller. So far we feel pretty good, I mean, but that's 200 miles, that's one-fifth of uh, Iron Butt. So, you know, of course, the more miles you start adding on to that, the more your butt starts to hurt, or the more you guys start proving that your butt is made out of iron. scheduled pretty conveniently that uh, Havelina Harley Davidson has got free fajitas and margaritas. We're probably going to lay off the margaritas just because we got to ride back. Part two. Sponsored by <laughs> Sponsored by Biggs, Biggs Texas Gas Station. You still feeling pretty good? I'm still feeling pretty good man. I mean um, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling fine. You know, I mean, 200 miles is pretty doable on any given day. I'd even say 500 miles is doable on any given day, you know? It was only 200 miles, they wouldn't call it the iron butt. Yeah, that's true.
just feels good to be on the bike. Houston to get some free fajitas. Hey, here's some expensive. We have arrived to have Alina Harley Davidson in Bernie, Texas, guys. And uh, Scott said we're like uh, how many miles in? 318.8. All right, so we're gonna go see if they got some fajitas for us over uh, today. They're giving away fajitas and margaritas, so we're gonna see what's up. It's a good. Uh, Good time to stop and catch a little bite to eat. Fajitas? Yes, sir. Came all the way from Houston, man, to get fajitas. <laughs> we're at this morning. I'm honored. <laughs> Scott's warmed up now, so. Fingers are working again. So uh, from here, I think we're gonna fuel up, and then uh, we're just gonna get back on the highway, get home, and uh, and that's pretty much it. So once we get closer to home, we'll kind of break off. Scott will go his way, I'll go my way, and then uh, we'll just talk about this little ride in a little bit, and uh, see what we learn from it, if we learn anything. Now, other than other than we learned that the first 250 miles is really easy and the rest we yet to figure out so we'll check you out down the road but man it's uh it was a nice day for testing out 500 mile run it really was and i'll tell you probably the most valuable thing that i learned um, on this 500 miles there is zero time to uh motor vlog I mean, you can a little bit. I'm gonna have to decide on how I want to record while I'm doing a thousand miles. And most of it's probably just gonna be using uh, that camera that's up there, which is a 360, so I can easy on, easy off. Yeah, you really have very limited time uh, for really recording a lot of it on video. As far as fuel ups go, it definitely, we can do 200 mile stretches. So I got to see what the mileage is running this bike with the cam it's not all that different i think i'm getting about 10 miles per tank less than scott's i think it was 10 or 15 on average that, that i saw in this 500 miles um, and his is a stage one mine's a stage two so that's not a bad deal i can handle that you know we talked about exactly what times we were going to start and i think we're still going to leave it starting early in the morning because we'd like to show up to the hotel um, at a pretty reasonable hour in the evening. So I'd say that this uh, 500 mile test run was pretty successful. Um, it did give us a really good idea um, on what it's gonna take to do the 1000. And, and I tell you what, I feel really good. I feel very confident that we'll be able to knock out that 1000 miles in a very reasonable time. I'm ready for it, I'm totally ready for it. You know, it's been a while since I've ridden this many miles in a day. Uh, continuously so this is a good sign not only does this uh, give me a good idea for the iron butt but it also um, gives me a good indication of how I feel for our upcoming trip to California because we got some pretty long days ahead of us and uh, this bike is doing a really good job thank you guys for joining me on this little trip and uh, we'll see you soon deuces